Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a circle, and in fact, if you notice, we have the equation of this circle is right here, and we have a secant, this line, we call it a secant, that creates a chord, this chord here, and we need to find the length of this chord. So first of all, I'm going to take this equation of the circle, x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 36, and I'm going to uh, find the center of this circle and the radius. So for that reason, I'm going to put this equation, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we're going to identify these uh, parts. h will be 1, right? Don't forget to look for the minus ball also. Uh, k will be 2. Again, the same story. Don't forget to look and check if you have minus r on your equation. And the radius square will be 36, which is going to give me a radius of 6. Okay, I'm going to need these three information. The center, right, which is 1 and 2 is going to be right here. And the radius for finding the length of the chord. And I'm going to call this chord AB. Okay, and for that reason, I'm going to draw this segment AC. Well, you can draw AB if you want. And this segment. This second segment, you, you notice, is a horizontal segment. So that means it's going to be perpendicular on the chord. So let me call this point D here. Okay, we have a horizontal segment and a vertical segment. Obviously, they are perpendicular. So let me write this. CD is going to be perpendicular on ID, which is give me this 90 degree angle. So I have a right triangle there. And also we have a property, a very important property. You notice that here, if a diameter or radius or a part of the diameter or the radius is perpendicular on a chord, which is the case here, then it bisects the chord. So these two pieces are congruent. AD is equal with DB. So if I find only one of them, I can get AB then just by simply multiplying by 2. So for that reason, we're going to look in the triangle CDA, which I'm going to draw here. And if you notice, CA is the radius, the radius of 6, which we find out here. And then we have to look how far away C and D are. And if you remember, C has the coordinates um, 1 and 2. And D has the coordinates 4. Why 4? Because you have this x equals 4 and 2. So basically, this point D is 3 units away from 1, 2, 4. There are 3 units away from C. So that is how long this leg is. So now we can use Pythagorean theorem here. a square plus b square equals c square. Remember, this is c, the longest side of the right triangle, the hypotenuse. The other one, you can call them a and b. You can switch them. Okay. So we're going to have here a square, which will be 3, 3 square plus b square. b is the guy we're going to need to find out equals c squared, which is c squared. 3 squared is 9, plus b squared equals 6 squared is 36. So for finding b squared, we just have to subtract 9. And we have 36 minus 9, that will be 27. So b will be square root of 27, which, by the way, can be simplified as 9 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27 square root of 9 times 3, and that will be 3 square root of 3. But this B, like I said, is the segment AD. This, this will be the B. So AD is 3 square root of 3. So for finding AB, we're going to double AD, because you remember, uh, Point D is in the middle, CD bisect AB. So 2 times AD, 
and we have the length of the chord in a moment we have 2 times 3 square root of 3 and that will be 6 square root of 3 that is how long that chord is of course if you need an approximation you're gonna grab a calculator and do the approximation if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you